Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome today to the pre-show for the High Tech Oil Super Series which is coming your way in just one week's time, the 17th to the 19th of March down at Winton Motor Raceway to kick off a huge series. Of course we've got six rounds of racing across four different states. It's going to be absolutely fantastic in 2023 and of course we finish things off at the tw from the 24th to the 26th of November down at the iconic Calder Park. What a huge year it's going to be. Joining us on today's show we've got drivers from the RX8 Cup. We're going to catch up with Tom Shaw and Justin Lewis. We also catch up with the young guns from the TA2 muscle cars. Josh Hain, Brad Gartner and Jackson Rice. We're going to catch up with Ross Wood who drives in the Australian Super TT Championship and our 2023 technical advisor for the series, Jeff Gregg. Our first guests on the show today are going to be from the RX8 Cup, our reigning champion, of course, Tom Shaw and series sponsor and competitor, Justin Lewis. Welcome today, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Tom, you're the current champion of the RX8 Cup at the moment. What are you looking forward to in 2023? Yeah, really looking forward to this year. We've got a great year ahead, um, plenty of rounds, and it's great to be involved in the Super Series. Um, through the RX8 Cup, through Yellow Express, this is huge for the category to be a part of a series like this. So really looking forward to this year. We've had a great first round at Phillip Island and can't wait for Winton. Tom, your dad was very involved in uh, starting the RX8 Cup throughout Australia as well. So there's a fair bit of pedigree sitting there in the background. What's it like when you race alongside dad and, and when he's in the pits there helping you out? How much pressure does that put on you as a driver? Yeah, he's great. It's, it's awesome to have that bit of background and history in the family. Um, he classifies himself as a legend and a lot of other people <laughs> do. So uh, it's awesome to have him as a father. And yeah, it's, it's great to work with him as well in the car um, and just go and racing together special. It's great to be part of the same family and, and doing what we love. Tom, not only do you get behind the wheel of these RX-8s, but you're also involved behind the scenes. You are actually the media manager for the series. Um, what does that involve behind the scenes and obviously talking to the sponsors? It's a big role. Um, I do, I've, I've got a day job, but um, I really enjoy doing media as well for the RX-8 Cup. This year, the last few years, I've, I've sort of done as a hobby and it hasn't been as professional. This year, with a major sponsor as Yellow Express, it's now on the more professional and serious side of things. So my job's become more critical, as well as driving. I, I like to enjoy the media side of things as well. So it's quite critical, working with the Super Series and Yellow Express this year, that we can really promote RX-8 Cup as a one-make formula and uh, get the best out of the exposure we've been given this year. Let's have a chat with you now, Justin. And not only are you competitive in the series, but you're also one of the sponsors. A rookie year last year for you, you're just getting your way around the RX-8s. What's that going to shape up for you in 2023? Absolutely, sort of midway through last year. All the gear, no idea. And um, I've had the time of my life. And, you know, more to what Tom was speaking about. Yeah, this category is, has got some magic dust about it. And uh, it's uh, very exciting to be a part of it. And so also a very easy decision to uh, come on board as their major sponsor as well. Well, let's have a talk about your business, Justin, obviously being a great supporter of the RX-8 Cup. Tell us exactly what Yellow Express is. Yellow Express provide a man and a big van on demand. So uh, in short, you book us like you would an Uber, three easy steps on the app. And um, yeah, yellowexpress.com.au, it's all pretty uh, straightforward. Well, this weekend we're heading to the first round of our High Tech Oil Super Series at Winton Motor Raceway. Tom, you've been there before. You've had great success at the end of last year. It's where you clinched your championship. Tell us a little bit about the Winton track and how you enjoy it. Oh, look, Winton's a great track. And as RX8 Cup, we love going there. It's a great venue, well-run event. Um, for the competitors, we're looking to have a great field again this time around. Uh, it'll be round two for our series. Winton's got a lot of character. We love racing there. If we can get a field of 20 plus, it's even better. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of nice corners there, a lot of, lot of straights, a lot of speed for our cars. Um, when you can have three, two to three cars going in to turn one wide and try not to touch each other, no panel damage at all. It's just, it, it creates a real spectacle to watch. And obviously with the RX-8 Cup being a controlled formula out there, Tom, we see some really tight racing out there on track and so many competitors joining the series over the last few years. What is the significance of joining something like the High Tech Oil Super Series, not just from a competitor's point of view, but also from your media manager point of view? It's, it's absolutely massive. There's so many advantages to run through them or it'd take us hours. But uh, just the exposure it's going to provide the category. We're, we're trying to build. We've been running for five years now as RX-8 Cup. Yes, we've run at state and national level. I'd classify more state rounds with New South Wales. So we're trying to expand into that like nutting out that we are definitely a national category and so joining the Super Series provides us that awesome TV package. To me I'm just trying to tell our competitors how good this this deal is going to be, how, how much exposure 
will receive and uh, all the other positives that come with that. And Justin, as a sponsor, how fantastic is it, not just for yourself, but also for the category of racing, that this is going to be live on TV for everyone to be able to enjoy? Look, absolutely. Uh, I know um, motorsport and the promotion of motorsport is sometimes a tough gig. Uh, when I looked at the numbers and what Tom's done as far as the social media is concerned and what they've done with the category, to me it was like a no-brainer to support the category. And also uh, what I've found is, is also the supporters of uh, motorsport and also the, support, the supporters of the RX-8 Cup are very loyal supporters. And you know, it's, it's kind of like having uh, lots of people out there that sort of, uh, that, 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 that enjoy that there's someone come on board like a marquee sponsor like Yellow Express. And uh, yeah, we've already seen uh, results. So no brainer. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the show today. It's been great to get your insight into the RX-8 Cup. And look, we're looking really forward to what round one's going to bring us. I can see you guys are on the edge of your seat too. You're going to be going door to door out there. It's just one week away. Thank you again for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. And joining us next virtually on the show is going to be the stalwart of the Super TT Racing and a competitor in 2023, Ross Wood. Welcome to the show, Ross. Thanks for having me. Have you ever had the opportunity to be involved in a series like the High Tech Oil Super Series coming up? Uh, no, I haven't raced any national series stuff. I've done interstate Super TT stuff, but uh, nothing national. And the Super TT Series covers a wide array of different sizes, different types of cars, Ross. Tell us a little bit about the car you're going to be competing in this year. Uh, well, I've got a Nissan Skyline. It's got a um, an RB25 engine in it, stroked out to about... 2.8 litres, um, it's rear wheel drive, has about 450 horsepower. Um, yeah, and uh, it uh, just been built up over the years. I've had it, what, uh, 18 years now. So uh, finally getting close to having everything the way I want it. So um, yeah, it's reasonably competitive. Um, be interesting to see how it goes in the national championship. Since the announcements of the High Tech Oil Super Series late last year, Ross, there's been a lot of interest in the Australian Super TT Series and a lot of people wanted to get involved. I mean, you've always had strong state championships in New South Wales and Victoria. What's it going to be like to travel with the car this year and be part of a national series? Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, generally we've had our Victorian Super TT and the New South Wales Super TT. And occasionally we've sort of met up in the middle, either at Wakefield Park or Sydney Motorsport Park or Winton. But this gives all of us an opportunity uh, to step up to a, a national level and go to a couple of tracks that we've never been to before. So, um, you know, it, it should be a good uh, class and uh, category to run in throughout the year. Four um, meetings for the year is not too much. So, yeah, no, looking forward to it. And Ross, for the people at home who haven't heard of the Australian Super TT Series before, tell us a little bit about the four different classes in the race category. Um, well, you start off, you've got um, under two litre treaded and slicks. Um, look, basically the, the rules and regulations are pretty straightforward. So long as a road going car at some stage during its life, um, you know, you, you, uh, if the engine's under two litres, you can either run slick tyres or treaded tyres. And then the other categories you've got is over two litre slicks and treaded. Once again, if your cars are turbo and uh, above two litres, obviously you're above the two litres and turbo or V8 or whatever you want. So, um, yeah, there's quite a, f a number of cars in each category. So, um, yeah, looking forward to uh, seeing how it all goes and how many we get throughout the year. And with a sponsor like High Tech Oils coming on board for the Super Series, what's it going to be like for your category to be able to race at different tracks, big crowds, new fans and live on TV? Uh, look, it's just a, a, a good platform all around. You know, as I've always thought about it in the past, but I um, thought it was a bit of a pipe dream. It's been great with all the um, high tech on board um, for the year. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Well, Ross, we thank you for joining us today here on the panel show and taking up a little bit of your time to find out more about your category and how excited you are about the 2023 season. Thank you for joining us. No problem at all. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere after the break. We've still got to catch up with our young guns from the TO2 muscle car. Josh Hayne, Brad Gartner and Jackson Rice and our series technical advisor, Jeff Gretsch.
Welcome back to the High Tech Oils Super Series pre-show for round number one. Our next guests on the panel are the rising stars of TA2. And uh, joining me in the studio is Jackson Rice and Josh Haynes and virtually Brad Gartner. Welcome to the show, gents. Good, mate. Thanks Good, for having thank us. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for having us. Let's start with you, Jackson. Last year you were a rookie in the series. Tell us a little bit about your background in motorsport. Yeah, so we, we started in karts at, uh, at six um, and sort of progressed from there. Um, we were really fortunate to have a pretty successful karting career. Um, then we stepped up into cars, just running around at, uh, at local sprint rounds, um, then stepped up into uh, essentially like a Super TT series. Ran that for a little bit. Unfortunately, COVID put sort of the brakes on it, like uh, I think for everybody. So we actually had a couple years off and then I uh, was really fortunate to, to step up into TA2 last year and yeah, it was really good. And in the 2022 series, you had your first round win. Yeah, it was. So the last round of TA2 last year um, was, our, was our first win, third for the round. Um, you know, we sort of progressed over the 12 months to build up to the point where I think um, we, re we had a really good team around us, um, you know, was feeling pretty comfortable in the car and, um, you know, we, it was really good. And I believe you've got some exciting new sponsorship for this season. It's really exciting to have, um, to have Petters on board. Um, as long with uh, Oralful, Vinyl Wraps and uh, Snap-on as our major sponsors for this year. So that's really exciting. And to you, Josh, you got involved in motorsport, very similar to Jackson there. Tell us a little bit about how that evolved and what other racing you've done. So similar thing to Jackson, uh, we started go-karts around the age of six or seven, practicing in uh, some car parks in Canberra and then we finally got to hit the track. Um, and then obviously, over time we've progressed, we, we won a state title in go-karts, which was pretty special uh, to our little family team. Uh, and then from there, we kind of didn't know where we wanted to go with our racing. Um, and we saw the opportunity to go to the Pulsar series, which again is a one-make series, which is something uh, me and my dad are really into. We kind of take pride in the, the, the categories we get involved in. Um, so the Pulsars was a really good start for my car career. Um, hopped in there, learned a lot, met a lot of great people. We made the decision to go to TA2, um, got the car just before we went into lockdown. So it gave uh, Dan and I the opportunity to have a bit of a tinker in the garage while we're waiting to get on track. Um, and yeah, we came, came out last year with a bit of a bang, uh, put it on the front row next to Nash Morris, which was really special to be up, up against such a big name, you know. Um, and then Unfortunately, we were pretty unlucky with mechanical dramas um, all throughout the year. Um, but in saying that, we still we came away, away with one round win at the bend, a um, couple of podiums, a pole position, um, and yeah, learn, learn a lot because it's obviously a lot different to a front wheel drive Pulsar. So, um, but yeah, com coming into this year, we're really excited um, with a new car, um, a great bunch of people around us. So yeah, looking forward to it. And I believe you've actually got some new support in 2023 as well as a new look on the car. Yeah, so uh, yeah, coming very soon, we'll be doing a livery reveal. Um, I've got four main sponsors, like some new ones that have hopped on board this year, which is Simon at Beaches Sea Do. It's been great to have him jump on board. We've got Herzog Steel in Canberra. They're a massive, massive support of me. Car bids and all bids in Canberra as well. We've also got SOS Recruitment who have hopped on board this year, which is really great. Um, and also Elven Group, who's been following me since I started my car journey. So it's, it's really great to have these great people on board. And now turning our attention to Brad, you also started your motorsport at a very young age. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Yeah, so I started uh, dirt carts um, when I was seven years of age, just um, something to do because couldn't start um, racing cars till I was 10. So, you know, like Lucendale, just local tracks around here. Um, as soon as I turned 10, we joined Speedway. So it was just Dohatsu charades and Dats and Sunnies and excels different models and whatnot and um raced that throughout victoria um for seven years straight won a few victorian championships through there and you know traveled australia through perth perth and everything so that was pretty cool and then got the opportunity to go drive a v8 powered late model for someone um in south australia up at murray bridge and that was a yeah, great experience and then just thought i wanted to take my career probably a bit th further so we joined the hyundai excels and yeah, lucky enough to get a few early wins, you know, just with our family team as it has been my whole career. And then um, racing with Lee Stibbs in XLs, he had the idea of coming to join, join TA2, just such a great category. And um, yeah, we joined forces with Mike Bideau and um, yeah, got the, got the truck and got the shed and yeah, just really enjoyed, enjoyed it. And Brad, what can we expect when you roll the car out of the garage in winter next weekend? Yeah, so for round one, it'll look... Um, 
pretty similar to last year. We haven't really got all our sponsors um, sorted fully yet, but we've got some big ones, Kaztec Rural Supplies and PPHS Livestock, Mike's Beef Jerky, um, and a heap of the guys that have been supporting me for years um, throughout my whole career. And guys, I have to ask, what's it going to be like competing on track against each other this season? Let's start with you, Josh. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting year because, you know, we're all so, so eager to, to go, go at home with the win. Um, but no, I think we've all got some respect for each other. I was literally talking to Brad on the way up here on the phone. So, um, you know, there's obviously a difference between when you're off the track and on the track. But yeah, we've, we've got our respect and we'll rub some doors, but we'll, we'll be nice to each other. And your thoughts, Jack? Yeah, no, I sort of tend to agree. I think this year is going to be a really exciting year, especially with, with these boys and, um, you know, how competitive the TA2 field should be. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And as, as, uh, as Josh said, you know, we've, I think we've got a large amount of respect for each other. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, on track and off track. But, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. And this, I think this year is going to be, going to be a tough year for the championship. Um, but, yeah, I think it's going to be really exciting for on-track racing. So. And Brad, what are you expecting out of the series this year? Yeah, no, su super excited to join the high tech super series. And, you know, you've got three young lads, all, all 19 years of age, you know, becoming great mates. And we all started last year with a bit of early success. So it's going to be great to head around Australia and a lot of tracks, you know, Calder Park and Hidden Valley, you know, Morgan Park, never been there either. So it's going to be such a, such a fun year. Brad, in Darwin, of course, we've got two drivers in one car, which is going to be a, an exciting new format. Have you decided on a co-driver yet? Uh, something in the works we yeah I, I was thinking of a lot of people you got to have you want to be fast but you know you got to you don't want to wreck your car you got to have someone that's you know willing to chip in and help out and, yeah have a lot of fun on the way as well it's great to be joined in the studio here by the upcoming talent in to2 and we thank you for your time gents from being part of the series we can't wait to see what you're going to bring to the on-track action this weekend at winter motor raceway good luck thank you very thanks much bring it on. It. Yes, thanks for having us and our next guest who will be joining us virtually, it's fantastic to have him joining the High Tech Oil Super Series as technical advisor. He's well known amongst motor enthusiasts in Australia. Welcome, Jeff Gretsch. No worries, thank you for having me. Jeff, you've got a lot of years and a lot of experience in racing and being around these types of vehicles and these different categories of racing. It's going to be absolutely fantastic to have you as part of the team in the High Tech Oil Super Series. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty excited about, um, you know, being involved in the Super Series. Um, I think it'll be good, you know, a lot of good categories um, and hopefully, you know, work around with all the all those categories and uh, try and help out wherever I can. And um, yeah, it'll be good good to hang out. Good, good to be back in racing. Jeff, we look at the calendar throughout 2023. It's going to be absolutely action packed. But one of those tracks that we're going to go to is very iconic down there in Victoria, Calder Park. That's right, yeah, yeah, back in the day. And look, that was a ripper little track called a park. Um, very close racing, a lot of action, a bit like Winton, to be honest. Um, but then, you know, you mentioned all the other tracks nationally, and I think um, I, I really do. I'm excited about the High Tech Super Series because I think, I think it fills a big void in Australian motorsport, and, I, and I, you, you can see that by the entries you know, they've they got good categories and um, I, I think it'll be really good. I think um, I, I think it's got a lot of growth potential, that's for sure. And Jeff, with this new role, it's going to give you the opportunity to hang out in the pits, talk to the category managers, talk to the racers and really grow the series, the motorsport, the categories and assist with sponsorship. Yes, yes, that's right. I, I mean, I think, I think the categories that that are that are on the series are, are very well known absolutely but it's like everything um you know the the, the various category managers will want to grow grow the grid grow their grids um and you know take some changes on board as they think they need them and I, that's not for me to suggest a change but just to help you know if i can if i can advise um with with any idea uh, uh, that certainly will interest me um, and just being around talking, even the drivers, you know, you, obviously TA2 is ve fairly exciting and uh, they, they look great, they sound great, um, and they've got a lot of up-and-coming drivers coming through it, through them, and then progressing on, obviously, into the, into the higher, higher uh, categories. But certainly, um, certainly being around all that really, really um, 
fills a void for me. Um, I'm getting I'm getting on in motorsport now, so it's it's good to have an involvement, um, but but more on a helpful involvement rather than um, you know going going too berserk with major changes to anything. Um, so yeah, no, I'm looking really forward to it. Jeff, we look forward to the opportunities you're going to bring to the High Tech Oil Super Series in 2023, and we can't wait to see you trackside in just one week's time down at Winton Motor Raceway. Yep, I look forward to it too. Thanks again. Cheers. We need to thank everyone who's joined us on the panel show today here as part of the High Tech Oil Super Series. Of course, it all kicks off for round number one in just one week's time at Winton Motor Raceway, Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March. Next up, we head north to Darwin, Hidden Valley Raceway, round number two from the 29th of April to the 1st of May. It's a long weekend up there. We can't wait to enjoy that one. Round number three kicks off at Queensland Raceway from Friday the 2nd to Sunday the 4th of June. And of course, we stay in Queensland and race just one month Month later, Saturday the 8th to Sunday the 9th of July at Morgan Park Raceway. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. Round number five, we head to Sydney Motorsport Park from Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th of October. And then we finalise this series down at Calder. It's going to be great to be back there at Calder Park Raceway, Friday the 24th to Sunday the 26th of November. That brings us to the end of today's show and we've got a huge year coming up for the High Tech Oil Super Series. Can't wait for you to join us, whether it be trackside or watching us live on TV. It all kicks off next weekend, Winter Motor Raceway.